How you doing? Um, we're going to continue our study with matrices, and we're going to um, discuss something as, that is called determinants. Now, determinants are, is a number that's associated with the square matrix. And the ones that we're going to be looking at are, are going to be second-order determinants and third-order determinants. And in this video, we're just working at second-order determinants. Now, second-order determinants are associated with a two-by-two two matrix. And so um, we're going to look at the rule, apply it a little bit, and see if, uh, see if you guys can do it. So check this out. Um, first of all, a two-by-two two would, would have, or two-by-two two matrix would have two rows and two columns. So uh, I'm, a, I'm using here A as my matrix, and this is my uh, two-by-two two matrix. Now, if I want to know what the, if I'm asking you to find the determinant, um, the, the notation kind of looks like absolute value. So if I was, if you see this right here, find A, or I'm really asking you to find the determinant of this matrix. Now, this rule is pretty easy to find uh, or use. What you do is you multiply this A value times D minus C times B. So you kind of cross multiplying away. Um, so, uh, and, and um, I, let's see what an example of that looks like. Let's, let's try this one. This one has two, negative five, five, and negative 11. And we'll put brackets around it. Notice it looks like I'm asking you to find the absolute value of that, but I'm really asking you to find the, the, the second order determinant of it, the two by two. Um, so let's do that. Let's take two times 11, take two times 11, I'm sorry, negative 11, two times negative 11, and we're gonna subtract five times negative five. Now we have some negative values in there, so we gotta be careful with our signs. Um, two times negative 11 would be negative 22. And we're gonna minus or subtract that negative 25. Now whatever you have minus a negative, it's the same as plus a positive. So negative 22 plus a positive 25 would be equal to positive three. And so our determinant for that particular matrix is going to be positive three, okay? Um, what I'd like you to do now is I'm gonna put up another problem and maybe you could write it down and pause it and see for yourself if, if you can get the right answer. And then, and then click play then you'll see me finish the problem. So, so let's try this one. Let's, uh, let's see what we get when we put four, negative three, negative 12, and four. So, 4, negative 3, negative 12, and 4. We're trying to find the determinant of that. Um, so why don't you click pause right now and, and work it out yourself and come back and see me here in a minute. Um, <clears throat> well, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's, let's see. The way you do this is multiply the diagonal. 4 times 4 is 16. And we're going to subtract multiply the diagonal. Negative 12 times a negative 3 is a positive 36. So 16 minus positive 36 or minus 36 would give us a negative 20. So I got a negative 20. I hope you did too. And um, I hope you're able to, to do all of the problems that I happen to assign to you or the ones that you're working on. So thanks for stopping in.